Thanks, Jamie. Now yeah, that's making miracles in. Time to study. We'll complete the 15 strong lineup. All set. They're off. The Sport Pesa Chester Cup of 2019. The field of 15 breaking away with over two circuits in front of them. Austrian school in the pale green ridden up to take a handy position. Mont Harley in the very pale silks, a former winner of the race in the leading line with Fun Mac, the pink cap. Low Sun is getting over from stall 17. Ryan Moore in the pink jacket and Making Miracles is up there as well and he'll lead them under the judge for the first time. Making Miracles then. Low Sun has got right across to race one off the rail and close up in second into the first turn. Fun Mac in third position, then time to study in a red jacket racing in fourth. Shabib in the Kukash silks, the stars is out out wide the nose banded cliffs of Dunin up the inner early on uh, who dares wins in a white jacket between horses then Montali in midfield followed by speedo boy in orange jacket Austrian school right down at the rail also in midfield shadowed by his stable mate the gray waters meet Cleonti Silvestre de Souza in the blue and white at uh, this stage is held up in the last group of four or so as they swing across the far side and head towards the end of half a mile also towards the rear end of the field off a fairly steady pace lucky deal whiskey sour purple with a yellow cap and masala is last of the 15 strong field so they move now right across on the riverside part of the track and in testing conditions they're going fairly steadily here making miracles under chester specialist franny norton dictating low sun and ryan moore close up in second fun mac racing in third Time to study. Red Jacket is close up in fourth place. The keen going Shabib then racing on the outer with Cliffs of Dunin in the noseband on the inner. Who dares wins between those two? You can barely now make out Montali's white face. He's up the running rail. Speedo Boy, Orange Jacket follows to Austrian School, who's already being chivied along as they head towards the end of a circuit. Ahead of Waters Me, Cleonte, then Lucky Deal, Whiskey Sour, and Masala. So they head down the straight, on towards the halfway point, and still the tempo pretty leisurely in this searching test of stamina, making miracles, dictating here. Low Sun remains in second under Ryan Moore, having got across from stall 17. And then Fun Mac with a pink cap in third from time to study. Cliffs of Dunin's noseband on the inside becoming increasingly muddy as they pass the halfway point in the Sport Pesa Chester Cup. So making miracles in front under the judge once more to Low Sun in second and Fun Mac in third. Then time to study Cliffs of Dunin. Who dares wins the white jacket Montali on the end of a line of three with Speedo Boy and Shabib. Then Cleonti in the blue and white who's slightly worse than midfield. Austrian school still on and off the bridle hasn't really been traveling for a while he's got the gray waters meet his stable mate behind him then whiskey sour yellow cap under a waiting ride lucky deal is last but one masala remains at the tail and now shabib is beginning to lose his position very swiftly as they head up the fire duck side of the track with six furlongs left to travel making miracles and low sun they've been first and second throughout as you can tell by the color of their silks fun mac is still third time to study a half length away in fourth austrian school is just picked up the bit a little now and is beginning to improve around the field in the pale green jacket. He's up into about fifth position in the hands of Joe Fanning. Meanwhile, Shabib is being pulled up and they pass the five. So the race beginning to develop, making miracles and low sun. They're still the leading pair. Fun Mac has yet to leave the inside. Then time to study. Austrian school. Who dares wins? Cliffs of Dunin back on the inner. Cleonti in the blue and white in the hands of the champion jockey. Bustled along, beginning to pick off one or two as they head now towards the last three and a half furlongs making miracles with low sun and ryan moore now challenging the leader they've moved on by a couple of lengths to fun mac time to study who dares wins fifth cleonti up the inner has taken sixth and they're swinging for home on towards the last quarter mile it's still making miracles franny norton he knows his way home here at chester and making miracles a skip three lengths clear low sun is still heading the pursuit but having drawn up sides he's now beginning to fall away from the leader making miracles who continues to forge on down the straight inside the last furlong it's making miracles by 10 12 15 lengths low sun is being pressed by a whole host of them whiskey stour is staying on late but it's making miracles by a huge margin and it's chester specialist franny norton making miracles makes all to win the sport Pesa chester cup who dares wins disputing second with whiskey sour low sun weakened back into fourth then fun mac cleonte and the rest
Well, Franny Norton does it again, making miracles. And <laughs> it probably was a bit of a miracle there at 16 to 1. It's a miracle that you can actually recognize his colors there. Unbelievable, unbelievable. The king of Chester, he just had a winner in the last. He's made it a double now today. Um, fantastic, fantastic result for him. And he's drawn really wide. He's come out of stall 16, Jamie. Well, you can see him just wide as but one along with Low Sun. They make a beeline towards the front and they have the cleanest silks out of anything in the field and that tells the story of how this race developed the jockeys were really sensible when they just went steady away aware of conditions but out the front was the place to be and the king of chester has controlled this race from start to finish yeah mark johnston must be absolutely thrilled great runs as well from who dares wins and whiskey sour also up there as well but to be honest it was all about this winner because he set sail for home and fairly flown Jamie and when you've got Ryan Moore on your outside in the home turn you naturally worry but the King of Chester who was winning the Chester Cup for the very first time party tonight do you think Fred I reckon so I'm sure why not it's well deserved for him <laughs> it sure is I tell you what they could do whatever they have drink they could have some cheese nibbles because they've just won a whole wheel of Cheshire cheese <laughs> And we were saying, when we, we, we love our technology on Sky Sports Racing, but we were saying we got no idea who these are coming down the outside no. because they were just mud-splattered jockeys. But the bright orange was out in front. Franny Norton has controlled that race from start to finish. Another success story for Mark Johnston. Just listening to the result being confirmed. Who dares win second? Whiskey Sour is third. I didn't get what was fourth, I'm afraid, there. But anyway, making miracles is that, ah, well, we can tell you because they're walking back into the winner's enclosure now. <laughs> right by us, and Ryan Moore comes back in on Low Sun. So close, but no cigar for Willie Mullins as Franny Norton takes a look over his shoulder and a quick fire double for him. We've dubbed him the King of Chester, and that's why. Well, whilst they get themselves organised, we'll get winning reaction from the big race here, this Sport Pesa Chester Cup handicap in a few moments. But let's go back to the sunshine of Berkshire and rejoin my. 